Wally here and I hope you're having a good day and today I want to show you an island tour, a quick one, of my Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, island. I've been having a blast just changing and editing to my heart's content and let's just dive into it. So I figured out that you can change your home and I know it's a very simple, it's one of the earliest things you can do. But I've changed my entire exterior and even have a pirate's welcome uh, you know, door plate. I changed how my mailbox looks. Awesome, mm, snazzy, right? Goes and um, blends in or uh, complements the black color of my home. I really like how it looks. I'm going to be keeping this for a while. Over here, I have a lawnmower and a little furnace going. Uh, the furnace has been there pretty much since day one. Thanks to my ability to do construction, island designing, I made a little pond right outside my home. It's really cool. At least one fish can appear in here at a time, uh, at least is what I noticed. But that's a really cool way to get pond fish for me really quickly right at the start of the game. Put a little fence just for show so no one can fall in. That's kind of cute. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Let's continue on over here. We have a nice little um, haystack to rest on and a blue beetle. I know this is an island tour, but I don't think I have this yet. So I will go out and capture it. Because that's what you have to do. A Roselia Batisi? I don't know. I have that apparently, but we have a little uh, haystack here. These are things that my villagers had wanted earlier on in the game, so I'm not going to really go too much over that. I created a lot of hedges out of, I believe, weeds. These are a fence that you can, uh, you know, eventually make. And I like it. It really gives this nice natural look. You know, uh, how I built my homes though and my pathways, as you can see on the ground, I played. I applied pathways to all the homes inside my village, which is awesome. It's still a work in progress, but as far as the hedges, I cannot extend them any, uh, you know, any more in that way. This person over here also has a nice uh, pirate welcome uh, door plate I gifted to them, so uh, that's really nice. I decided to put all my villagers into one area to kind of create this, you know, housing complex, you know, condo complex, or whatever you want to call it. It is pretty snazzy, hand them all in one place so I can interact more efficiently. Down here is the rando area. This is something that's still developing. Right now, I just put all my turnips on the ground. I bought over 200,000 uh, bells worth of turnips that I'm going to sell through this week. So hopefully, and please cross your fingers for me that I'm going to make a profit. If we have this nice statue looking off in the distance, let me look with him. Look at that. I think I can have the same expression he does. Yeah, I think so too. So this is definitely a work in progress. I want to do something there. Uh, a random little ball. One of my um, villagers gave that to me and a workbench. A little leaf's back in town. Awesome. So just yesterday what I did was I took all these shrubs from uh, leaf. Uh, not yesterday, but yesterday I did all the flowers. I put all the flowers together to make them more... Uh, not organized or ubiqui ubiquitous. Like they having the all same flowers right here. Uh, I originally had it all willy-nilly, like there'll be a tulip, it'll be a white uh, flower, an orange one, and I wanted to make it all uniform. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uniform. That's why you see all oranges right there, you see all uh, white ones there, uh, and so forth. And behind them is the shrubs that I bought from Leaf, and I think that's really cool. I wanted a really natural look for the residential area. I think you probably saw already, this is a work in progress as well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But we go over here, we have a garbage can, we have a nice little fountain, and a place to sit. And here's my new addition that I made yesterday. A nice little garden. I like this fence. I love the color blue. So I thought that this would be really uh, nice and unique, especially with my black tulips, my hybrids, I believe, you know, and setting them off with these white flowers. I think this is a really cool look right in front of my uh, Nook's Cranny store. Right here, I do have a nice little, um, what's it called, arrow pointer sign thing. And right at the front of my town, you can also see that I have two little moats around my flower beds. And I took this idea from my spouse, but she showed this to me, and I know a lot of people are doing this, you know, online and in various communities across the internet, but having the, the dirt ground pathway underneath the flowers to make it look like it's a flower bed. To this right, I just want to show you real quick that I do have four nice benches, alternating colors. I had to customize these ones, I believe, in order to get it. But I like that because it just looks more natural again. That's the look I'm going for. Travel to the left. I have these temporary, um, these temporary shrubs just growing. 
that I do not have a place to put them. But this is not temporary at all. It's my little uh, beachside sitting um, camping with a nice little radio. It's pretty sweet. Up to four people can sit here, so that's really nice. If you go down, why not? Why not have a random pear bed on the beach? Who would not want to just lay on a pear bed? This probably smells good. It's awesome. It looks kind of comfortable. A little bit flat for my taste, but you know, take what we can get. Over here, two little hedges and a marking designating where I can jump off. I just like to do little flourishes like that. And my second bed of shrubs that I'm going to build, uh, you know, place them different places. A lot of it I am, you know, temporary placement right now. Like these ones are not. I like these little um, beach. Okay, let me pick up this. I got to. I love these little beach flourishes that I have, including these seats. So I have two sets of these just to sit down. Let me move over to the right. Let me see if I have that. I don't know if I have this uh, this butterfly. It looks very colorful. So I'm going to catch it. That's going to be the story of today, isn't it? Ah, I already had it, but that's nice. It looks really pretty. I have this random little uh, wheelbarrow with uh, pebbles in it. I just have little random things here and there. That's what I like. I'm going to replace this in the future. I guess this is less of a tour and more of a what I'm going to do next. Like this is halfway. I uh, halfway done, right? I have this campsite. I want this there. I have this special campsite sign that you get from starting Animal Crossing um, Pocket Camp, uh, whatever it's called, the, the mobile game, and then linking up to your Nintendo ID and getting a code. So that's cool. I have that here, and I have just a field of flowers. I think what I'm going to do here is just either make them all uniform, like I did in front of resident, ser resident services, and make it one flower type, or doing rows of different flowers. I'm not sure, but I do I do enjoy my little you know uh, seeing my seeing things telescope uh, not telescope you know seeing things but I forgot what they're called my mind is blinking I have a manhole cover and a nice incline in the back of a cliff which I didn't know you can do and that is awesome two terrarium the nice little pathway again everything is connected we come up over here I have this nice little fortune cookie uh, you know cellar uh, crate a popcorn machine that you can use and I don't know if you can see it but the popcorn spews out and a nice little a little park with a clock and a, you know Easter eggs. Uh, I'm sorry, Bunny Day eggs and a little place just to rest and relax. We go over to the right is my bread and butter is what I'm enjoying the most. What I'm very happy about and my friend Angus is too is my museum and all my bamboo trees. My little sand getaway here with the music and a picnic box uh, uh, and and a chair to sit on. I have a nice little place to wash my hands. Two trees and and lamps. This place is really well designed in my opinion and on to the left to the opposite end of the park we our park continues across the waterfall and I think that's really cool good place to get snacks and the pathway here I just wanted to look different from the rest of the town and that's why I changed it to this kind of a uh, this brick pathway of course if you ever need sodas or you need to use the bathroom we have that as well in uh, Waltopia that is what my town is called Let's go through this little mini area. This area, I really wanted to keep a place where I had non-fruit trees. The majority of the trees in my town are fruit, but I want to have a couple that I can shake, you know, for different reasons, for, you know, money or furniture. Let's hop across this little place. Here is my orchard. This is where all my fruit are. Uh, you know, I just shook all my fruit trees yesterday. So, you know, I apologize. I can't show you. Maybe, you know, the next time I do an update video on my town, I will definitely keep the fruit. But this is just tons and tons of fruit right here, and I and I think that's a really special to have a place just for all of this. If we go up north, this is my bell tree area. Yes, I have a place where I just do bell trees with a nice fencing, you know, doing something different over here. I want to make my entire village and my island a little bit different from each other. So I decided to keep a row, uh, you know, to a row of bell trees to, to really give this some oomph. Uh, down here is where my daily bell trees go. But you can find uh, a place to bury bells every single day. And I transport them here and then I will chop them down like so. I don't need any more bell trees. And eventually I will do something with this area. I'm kind of getting ideas, uh, you know, but we'll see. We'll see about that. And these are my fruits just in case I need to eat them in order to pick up more trees. So if we continue on the northern part of my town, uh, you know, heading eastward we will go into a new area this is my dark dirt path my nice fountain that i ordered and i don't know if you noticed but i love music so i especially music in this game I, I i keep a tape recorder or a radio everywhere in this town so if we continue around this is nice shrubs a nice little uh, different tile as you can see 
a little area where you can sit down and look off into the distance. And we're going to carry on to the east of my island and show you the biggest thing that I've been working on so far, which is this nice little... This is where my lighthouse is. Check this out. Is this... Oh, I'm in awe. You know I have to get that. You know I have to get that present, right? But, uh... Oh, man. Come on. Out of all the times right now... I can't get it right here, huh? No, no. Do I have to go down? No, I don't. Sweet. Let's try this again. Here's my antenna, because of course Nook needs to come and, and, and get his uh, satellite feed. And that's my nice little flag up there. A big old uh, lighthouse. I'm going to keep on extending those power poles to the right, so you can have you know something to look at. And of course I have another flag on the left side. And again, these flags come from the the code you get from playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp on mobile devices and smartphones. So go ahead and do that. Definitely do it to get some exclusive free items that you can order. And over here is just a nice little symbol. I don't, you know, I just made that up. It, it has no meaning at all. I just wanted to make it look like a person with like horns or something. And you have nice white flowers on both sides, white and purple. And that's really cool with two ponds and some shrubs and seats if you want to take a rest. But uh, as far as my town, that is my village, that is my island, the biggest parts of it. I mean, I have a lot of trees, I have a little area for picnic over here, I need to do more with this, and a well at the edge, uh, you know, at the edge of the island. It's cool I just noticed though, but you can see other islands in the distance. That's pretty, uh, pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. My beaches though, I need to do more. Um, you know, the, the sides of these paths, I would like to do something to make them stand out a bit more, uh, you know, Maybe more attention to when I lay stuff on the ground. I've seen some people do some really nice stuff with these turnips for temporary, you know, placements. I have a nice little, uh, what's it called? A water, water guard <laughs> stand. A water guard stand? It's definitely not what it's called. Lifeguard. Uh, lifeguard chair. That's what it is. I just like making things up. If I cannot find the word, I will make it up just to continue the sentence. And that is Waltopia right now. I mean, I am just like putting little things like this garden uh, rock. I keep a couple of, you know, stumps open just because beetles like to come there. So, you know, that's me and uh, that's Waltopia in a nutshell. I am trying, I'm doing things. You know, I like watching other people's videos online about their, their villages, their islands, where they stand. And just gives me more ideas. Uh, oh no, my net, my net broke, my outdoorsy net. I'm gonna have to get another one. Uh, pay some money, but I am not, you know, I'm not hard up from cash, <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, I like watching other people's videos about this online, getting ideas. So if you have any ideas for me, any ways to, you know, make my, my island or town pop, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're playing this game. Tell me about your village. I would love to read all about it uh, and, and just hear more about Animal Crossing because this game is just awesome. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next video.